The haunted house on Maple Street had been a source of fear and fascination for the residents of the small town for decades. Situated at the end of a winding, tree-lined road, the old Victorian mansion loomed over the surrounding houses like a malevolent presence. For years, rumors had circulated about the dark history of the house and the terrible things that had happened within its walls. But despite the warnings of those who knew better, some still dared to venture inside. The story of the haunted house began in the late 1800s, when it was built by a wealthy family named the Vanderlindens. The family was well known in the town for their eccentricities and their reclusive lifestyle. But as the years went by, the Vanderlindens became more and more isolated from the rest of the community, until they were rarely seen at all. Gee as the town grew and changed around them, the Vanderlinden mansion fell into disrepair. The once beautiful gardens grew over with weeds and the windows of the house were boarded up, giving the impression that it was abandoned. But still, there were whispers that something sinister was lurking within. The first documented incident occurred in 1923, when a group of teenagers dared each other to spend the night in the haunted house. The next morning, only one of the boys returned, wild eyed and screaming about the horrors he had seen. He spoke of shadowy figures that moved through the halls, of doors that opened and closed on their own, and of a malevolent presence that seemed to be watching him at every turn. From that day forward, the haunted house on Maple Street became a place of fear and fascination for the town's residents. Some claimed to have seen apparitions lurking in the windows, while others swore they had heard screams coming from within the walls. Over the years, the stories became more elaborate and more terrifying, until no one dared to venture inside. But then, one day in 1995, a new family moved into the town. The Johnsons were a young couple with a baby on the way, and they were looking for a fixer-upper to call their own. When they saw the Vander Linden mansion, they knew it was the perfect project for them. At first, the Johnsons were skeptical of the stories about the haunted house. They spent months renovating the old mansion, tearing down walls and replacing floors. But as the days went by, strange things began to happen. Doors would slam shut on their own, even when there was no wind. The couple would hear footsteps in the halls when they knew they were alone. And sometimes, in the middle of the night, they would wake up to find the baby's toys scattered around the room, as if someone had been playing with them. The Johnsons tried to ignore the strange occurrences, telling themselves that it was just their imagination. But as time went by, the disturbances grew more frequent and more intense. They began to feel as if they were being watched at all times, and they could sense an overwhelming feeling of malevolence in the air. Finally, one night, they could take it no longer. The Johnsons packed up their belongings and fled the haunted house on Maple Street, never to return again. And to this day, the old mansion remains a dark and ominous presence in the town, its secrets locked away behind boarded-up windows and overgrown gardens.